done your homework? Yeah. I've already done my English. Excellent. See, you're very good when you put your mind to it. Not like me when I was your age. I was rubbish. <laughs> no book smarts for me. Probably why I ended up in a backstreet knicker factory with a side hustle of barmaiding, but... Hey, not that sewing isn't a skill, because it is. And as for hospitality, well, you just got to slap a smile on your face no matter what's happening in your life, huh? I am sorry, Dad. I know. And I know that today's not going to be easy either. Mrs Crawshaw's going to want chapter and verse. I am proud of you, you know. Yeah, right. Just what you wanted, eh? A son that turned out to be a bully. Look, you did wrong, you admitted it, and you've taken responsibility. I can't ask for fairer than that. And as for Mrs Crawshaw, when she asks you who else was involved, you're going to tell her everything, aren't you? Say it once more with feeling. Yes, definitely. Good. Look, I just want the best for you, oh, son of mine. And hopefully, you might even learn from all this. Go on to bigger and better things. Onwards and upwards. Those messages make for pretty grim reading. No wonder Liam's been so deeply troubled. Look, it started out as a joke, but... I suppose it got a bit out of hand. I acknowledge the fact that you're trying to remedy your behaviour. He's really, really sorry, Mrs Crawshaw. He never set out to hurt anyone. I think his main problem is he is... Well, he can be very easily led. I am well aware that all this is not just down to you. But someone set up a number of fake accounts with the sole aim of persecuting Liam. Was that you? Dylan? Because if it wasn't you, then who was it? Some very vicious things have been said. Were you the one saying those things? Just be honest, son. Please. You don't have to protect anyone. Just tell the truth. That's the only way we can make any of this right. It's not that difficult. You just got to tell the truth. Right, it was me. Just me. How do you expect Mrs Crawshaw to help you if you don't tell her the truth? Just be honest, Dylan. Say what Mason did, that he threatened you. Please, Dylan, just tell us the truth. I just said it was me. Do you realise how serious this is? It's the truth. Is that all you've got to say? That it was you and you alone? Yes. Then I have no option but to suspend you. OK. OK? What do you mean, OK? What, Mason does all the damage and you get all the punishment? Huh? I don't know who on earth you think you're impressed with all this Omerta nonsense. You know, it only proves one thing, that Mason's got you wrapped round his little finger. Look, I'm up to what I've done, like you said. Oh, save your breath, Dylan. Have you even apologised to Liam? Yeah, of course I have. Not that it'll make any difference to the kid. Right, <clears throat> I want your laptop, I want your tablet, and I want your phone and anything else that plugs in. Right, well, how am I meant to do schoolwork without a laptop, then? What's that? It's a pen. Yes, very good. Mr Penn and you are going to be working very closely over the next few weeks. Right, and what am I meant to write on, then? Meet Mr Penn's best friend, Mrs Paper. The three of you will be spending a lot of time together. Right, all my work's on my laptop. At least let me have that. Punish me however you want, but I can't do anything without it. <sighs> OK, fine. Between nine and half-past three, you can have your laptop. Thank you. Once I've learned how to fix your parental controls. Capiche? <sighs> Come on, then. <laughs> 